Hello guys, um, so in a previous video, um, I know that I made a video about how to make uh, a menu. And one of the aspects of it was setting up your buttons. And one of the things that I think it was like Awesome Cookie 1000 who suggested it um, was saying how do you make a better button that doesn't uh, go to the next scene if you hold down the button. And of course, this is slightly inefficient because although you can just tap instead of just holding down, you don't want to be able to, you want to be able to have a button that actually goes to the next page after you're done clicking, not, you know, blue, 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 holding down. That's not very efficient. Okay, let's try to, let's, let's do this. So we already have our button mathematics or logic supposedly. And in a previous video, I showed you how to do it and why it works. So I'll leave a link to that uh, cringy video because I didn't have very good audio or video quality in that video. So I'm sorry if it sucks, <laughs> but yeah, I made that like a year ago. So, <laughs> but anyways, let's, let's fix this. And it's a, it's a very simple fix. This shouldn't be a very long video. I'm going to simply make a variable called clicked. I'm going to set it to false. Then what I'm going to do is, and if you have any other mouse clicks in your program, go and get rid of them because this can take care of every single last click thing you ever do. And it's so helpful. It's not just for buttons. Like you can set up a store and not have to put thousands of like for loops and if statements in a single click statement. This is the click statement now and you'll see how it works. So I'm going to a tab and say mouse clicked uh, uh, equals function blah. and uh, oops I'm gonna do that actually let's just do our mouse clicked wait forgetting something though there we go and I don't actually need a bar why am I doing that that's kind of dumb okay um, in the clicked uh, mouse clicked uh, function I'm going to say clicked equals true. And now we know that whenever mouse is clicked, we're setting this variable to true. Now, once it's true, how is it going to stop? That's the, that's the question. And so we want it to say everything that's above, once it's clicked, right, it's going to equal true. But once it gets to the bottom of the frame, make it equal to false. And the reason why, what, basically what this does is what a draw function is, is it draws frames every second and it changes that every second. So like it draws this and then if there's any change, it draws it again, it draws again, thousands and thousands of times per second or whatever, based off of the frame rate. And what you're saying is every time any stuff, anything is clicked, once it's at the end of the frame, make it false. And so that, that's why I want to put everything that you have to do with clicking above this. So basically, it's good practice to just keep this variable to false and at the bottom of your draw, draw function right here. Never, never let this leave anywhere but this line that's right above the end bracket of a draw statement. Okay, now in my button, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set, instead of mouse is pressed, now we have our clicked. So I'm going to say clicked, and if it's clicked, make the page equal next page switch or whatever. And so now let's try it out. I'm not holding down, click, click. And this is good for buttons, but now you also have it clicked for like stores or something for buying, right? Now I can like, let's say, you know, um, hmm, you know, set up uh, a store and say, you know, have a for loop and blah, blah, blah. And if something is clicked by the person, by the thing, but if it's in the, you know, the, the for loop regions and if it's clicked, that's kind of how it works, right? And so now you have the click statement for uh, anything you have to want to do for clicking. Now, and you will, you'll no longer really need to use mouse press unless you have specific reasons you want to use it. But now if there's anything to do with clicking, don't use mouse press, just use this clicked variable right here. Super easy. Here's the code again. Click equals false. Once it's clicked, it equals true. And if it's at the end of a draw statement frame, it equals false. And you can use clicked in anywhere you want, uh, as long as it's above the clicked in the draw statement. And that's the end of this video, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and see you next time.